Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna be talking about Cardano stake pools. Should you delegate? How do you get optimal rewards? What are the important things to look for? What are the things that are not very important but might seem like it? And how much do stake pool operators actually make? We're gonna talk about this and more in this video. So let's just get this one out of the way quickly because I just mentioned it. Should you be delegating your ADA? And the answer is yes, you definitely should. It doesn't lock up your ADA. You don't have to send it to anyone. It could still live in your wallet and you get rewards. So it makes total sense to just delegate it and then sell it or do whatever you want, but at least you're earning rewards at the same time. And before we get going, I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Do your own research. The calculator used for these calculations is only for guidance. These are not exact numbers and they are expected to change in mainnet. Okay, so we're gonna start by looking at this staking rewards calculator and we're gonna put some numbers in so that we can see how big of an impact certain factors play when it comes to you as a delegator getting rewards. Now we're gonna set the amount of ADA we intend to delegate to 100K. This might be a lot for you, this might be a little for you, but this will be a good way to either divide or multiply so you can find out a rough number of how this factors for you. Below our delegation is the stake pool daily fixed fee. And this is a minimum requirement of 68 ADA a day. You can change this and go to more, but this is what most pools are doing. And this works out to be 340 ADA per epoch, which is every five days. And in the right hand corner, we can see the stake pool operator's stake. I have 35K set right here because that is the pledge I have put to my pool. And I wanna stop right here and talk about pledge for a second. Pledge might seem like a very important factor when choosing a stake pool, but it actually has very minimal effect on your rewards at a certain point. So let me explain this a little further. There is a threshold of ADA you need in your stake pool in order to produce blocks. According to the calculator, it's about half a million ADA delegated to a pool to start getting the minimal rewards, which is 0.4. That's almost not rewards because that's not really anything. But as soon as you bump up to about a million ADA in a stake pool, you start to get 3% plus rewards. A large pledge can get you past that threshold and put you into a block producing mode where you can bring in delegators, give them rewards immediately, and make your pool more attractive. But one thing to consider is that a pool with a million pledge, but only a 2 million total, will give less rewards than a pool with a 10K pledge, but it's got 5 million in it. And so at this point, the most important factor when it comes to choosing a stake pool to optimize your rewards is to select a stake pool with the most money in it. That's gonna give you the best and highest rewards. Now, this seems counterintuitive to tell you this because my stake pool does not have a lot of ADA in it. As of right now, it has this much ADA, which gives you a return of about 4%. There are other stake pools that will give you a higher return. However, my stake pool has a mission behind it. And this mission is to make videos like this, to make educational content. I don't wanna make skewed biased content that just says, go delegate to my pool. It's the best pool, there's no other pools. I wanna be honest with you guys and give you actual valuable information and you can make your own choice. If you wanna go delegate because those returns mean that much to you, or if you're like, I'll take a couple less ADA so that I can support a project like this, that is your choice, that's up to you. I'm just wanting to provide you with information so you can make the best educated decision for yourself. And one of the ways that you can see how much ADA is in a pool is by going to pooltool.io and they have this live staking sorting feature so you can see which stake pools have the most ADA. You can also search the name of a stake pool. This is mine right here. And we're gonna use this as an example and continue on to show you how rewards increase in what increments. So looking at my pool right here, we can see that we're getting about a 4% reward. Now, if we were to go from 2.3 million to 5.2 million, so just over double, we'd get another 0.6% to our rewards, not bad. But if we go from five to 10 million, the rewards are not as significant. The jump is not as big. And this is very important because when it comes to supporting small stake pools that have good goals, you can make the difference. When we look at this diagram right here, you can see that the difference is about 200 ADA a year if you're delegating 100K. If you're delegating 10K, that's about 20 ADA a year and you might be able to choose a project you actually wanna support versus going after just the financial aspect of it. As of right now, there are over 860 stake pools registered. But when you look at that number in pool tools, you can see that almost half of those stake pools will not be producing. They will not be generating rewards. And if you are delegated to them, you will not get any rewards because the total in their stake pool is too low. So just assuming that any stake pool will generate you 5% rewards is not correct. You have to look at the stake pool, look how much money is in there, look at the variable fee, and then figure all that out to see where your rewards will be. 
Next thing I want to talk about is the variable fee. And this is something that I think a lot of people look at and go, hey, I want to go for the lowest fee. That's going to give me the best returns. And that's not always the case. Let's take a look at a few examples. Here we can see that delegating to a pool with a 1% fee, but only 5 million total gives us less returns than if we went to a pool with a 5% fee with 10 million total. I also wanted to illustrate what it looks like when you're talking about a 1, 3, and 5% pool. In this case, using 100K delegated with my current pool stake, the difference is 87 ADA a year. And if you're delegating around 10K, we're talking about nine ADA a year. And knowing that the difference is only nine ADA per year, you might be more inclined to forget about what the fee is and just go for the pool that you wanna support. And if we were able to bring the stake pool up to 10 million, we can see that the rewards would be fairly significant. We'd be going up almost 20% in our rewards. And as we've seen, once we get to this 10 million spot, the difference between 10 million and 200 million isn't that significant. So it becomes time to ask yourself, what is the stake pool doing? If they're asking for more fees, maybe they're using those fees to grow their project. And so at a certain point in a stake pool's life, the amount of money in that stake pool starts to affect the operator more than it does the delegator. We can see here with this example. So let's take a look here. We've got a pool with 20 million in it. And if we add another 1 million to that pool, your rewards as a delegator is only five more ADA a year. But for the stake pool operator with 20 million in their pool, if they got another million, that equals 2,775 more ADA per year. So you might be wondering, how much money can a stake pool operator make if they're operating a pool? Well, let's take a look at these numbers. You can see here that you do need a significant amount of ADA in your pool to make a good sum of money, to even make a livable sum of money. As of right now, of the over 800 pools, there are only 14 that have more than 100 million in them. Taking into consideration the information I just showed you, this could either be a little side hustle or this could potentially be a full-time job. Now, one thing I will address is that we all like to just assume that ADA is going to the moon. It's gonna be one, two, three, four, or five dollars and if that was the case that would be a lot of money we're talking about but the fact is is that we live right now we live in this reality and if you were going to build a business off of this you have to assume that the money is kind of where it is or probably less to be conservative so of that amount of money if you have to pay your bills if you have to hire people to bring them on to develop a project you have to pay them you have to be able to exchange out at the current rate so you have to plan for the current rate and of course, a reminder that this is all just guidance. These are not exact numbers and you don't know what your income is going to be until it comes in. You don't know what the exchange rate is going to be. So growing a business in this model has to be cautious because you don't know how much money you actually have coming in and your pool could fluctuate. A lot of factors could change. So you have to be very cautious in building a business in this model. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a bit more about delegating to Cardano stake pools. What's important, what's not just so you can pick the right stake pool for you. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment below. You can also join my Telegram chat, chat with me or other members of the Cardano community. I'll put a link in the description as well. And if you wanna see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe, hit the like button, all that stuff. You can also, you know, stake to my stake pool. Until next time, guys, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.